Whether you're a teacher looking for a good demonstration on magnetism or just looking for a new toy, Magnetic Silly Putty is a great option. In this video, we will show you how to make your own. Silly Putty has always been fun because of its non-Newtonian properties. Add in ferromagnetism and it makes it even more fun. This putty is great for demonstrating the principles of ferromagnetism and magnetic forces. It can also generate a great conversation on magnetic fields as you watch the Silly Putty creep up the sides of a magnet. Although there are commercial products available, we like to make our own. It's easy and very affordable. All you need is Silly Putty and black iron oxide powder. We've found that the Silly Putty that works best is the Crayola brand glow-in-the-dark or color-changing varieties. But you should feel free to experiment on your own to find out which type works best for you. You can buy the powder online or at a ceramic supply store. Black iron oxide itself is not particularly dangerous. It's just a fancy name for a type of rust. It's naturally occurring and FDA approved for uses in cosmetics. However, it is a very fine powder and any dust can be harmful if inhaled or if you get it in your eyes. For that reason, I'll be wearing safety glasses. You can also wear a mask if you choose. I'll also be wearing gloves to protect my hands. It's not really dangerous to touch, but it does turn your fingers black, and I don't want to have to scrub that off later. It may also be a good idea to cover your workspace with something like newspaper. That will also help make cleanup easier. We found that the best way to mix the iron oxide powder into the Silly Putty is to spread out the putty like this, and then add on about a teaspoon of powder on top. Again, you should feel free to experiment for yourself and find out the amount that works best for you. Then, you just fold it and stretch it and fold it and stretch it. You can see the excess powder falling out. It is also helpful to twist it like this. It'll take several minutes of mixing to get the iron powder all the way worked in. When your Silly Putty is evenly black, even when stretched, then you know that it's done. This Silly Putty is not only great for demonstrations, it's a lot of fun to play with, so have fun with it!